What's up guys? So I have an Uber's battle for you guys here where I'm actually using a team that Inert Fury made and I more or less got it through the grapevine. So we're going to see how this team works because it's semi-gimmicky, which, you know, gimmicky teams are can and somewhat are fun to use because you just get a lot of unexpected KOs, especially if pretty much your entire team is gimmicky. I think Genesect and Fortress and maybe, you know, Groudon are probably the only somewhat standard sets. Otherwise, you know, like the Deoxys Attack, the Arceus Water, and the Giratina aren't. And he has a White Curum, as you will see, but in the video it won't be a White Curum because I'm using a Pokemon Black and White ROM. So let's get to this battle right here. So he is going to lead off with his White Curum that looks like a normal Curum, and you get to see the nice little, you know, texture hack color changes. In this battle, I just kind of wanted to do this because I hadn't done this in a while, so I was like, you know, let's bring out the texture hat colors and the blue Genesect and all in the is actually pretty freaking cool. That should have been its shiny form. Not the red one. I prefer the blue one. But, you know, some people might prefer red. It, either way, I'm just going to Iron Head the first turn because I'm not even trying to predict him switching out. And I figured, you know, Iron Head isn't really that expected of a move as far as Genesect goes. Although it should probably be more expected with Kieran White being in Ubers, and I'm sure abused regularly. I'm not really sure because I haven't played Ubers in a bit. But I'm going to bring in Giratina on the obvious blue flare and absorb it nicely and then go for the Dragon Tail as I know something is coming out. And I was unfortunately thinking it was going to be the Zekrom coming out. I'm not really sure why, but I did. And so I'm going to be forced to switch because obvious outrage is obvious and thus I kind of you know, need to switch out. Otherwise, that could have been a very bad scenario, losing that Giratina Origin pretty early on, as he comes in use a lot later. So basically, right now, Groundon's only here to set up the sun, which actually, strangely, does not benefit me in any way, believe it or not. So I'm not really sure why the sun's there. I guess just to screw Ground, or I guess to screw Kyogre's over. And set up the Stealth Rocks, which I managed to do. He is confused. He's probably going to be fearing that Confusion Hacks. And even if he is Scarfed, he obviously does not want to, you know, take an Ice Punch. And, uh, yeah, like I said, he's probably fearing the Confusion. Not wanting to get hit, hit himself, I have to understand. Well, you know, Nick's Curse kind of screws me over, so why wouldn't it screw other people over? So right here, I'm going to go for an Extreme Speed just to get off a little bit of damage. And it actually does slightly more than I thought it was going to, strangely enough. Well, that's nice, because, well, obviously my Deoxys attack is down because it takes one hit and it's pretty much dead. There's really nothing you can say about Deoxys attack. And, well, obviously he's stuck in Blue Flare, so I'm going to take this opportunity to paralyze him. But, you know, first Nick's Curse decides to activate and give me a burn on the Blue Flare. Which I think it's like a 30% chance, so it's still semi-respectable, but... You know, that Nick's Curse! That Nick's Curse! I really hate it, but this is an interesting set that has like Thunder Wave, Recover, Parasol, and Ice Beam. So clearly, I can't really do st um, neutral stab damage to him, which is a bit of a bummer when you're using an Arceus Water, but oh well. It's no big deal, it kind of is just a more or less, I guess, Kyogre check or something like that. Especially since it can come in on a water spout, thunder wave, and you know, then Scar Kyogre no longer can do anything, and it's a little bit stally because I was waiting for the para hacks, which I luckily managed to get two turns in a row, and then I finish him off with Ice Beam. And he's going to bring in Mewtwo, and I thought, you know, Water Arceus might come in handy a little bit later if I need to paralyze the Mewtwo, which I might need to, but because he brought in this Mewtwo the way he did, in it, right, just like right in the Arceus's face. I thought he might planning be planning to set up a substitute and then call mine behind it, which is obviously not what I want, so I'm going to Parish Psalm just to go ahead and deal with that. He's going to go for the Aura Spear. I guess assuming that Aura Spear would be enough to KO, which in all honesty, I'm a bit surprised it's not. So right here, I am going to switch into Giratina just in case he wants to try an Aura Spear again, because that would take me out from that range. But even if he doesn't, you know, I have a useful semi-death fodder right here to where I can switch back into Arceus Water. And I know if he wants to stay in, he's going to lose his Mewtwo, which is a pretty big check to almost my entire team. 
So, obviously, he's not going to want to lose his Mewtwo, so he is going to switch into his normal form Arceus, which, because it is normal form, it gets the uh, color palette change, which kind of actually ended up messing with my head for a little bit in the match until I was like, oh yeah, I'm on the uh, colored realm as soon as I switched out, because, well, you know, you know how it is in the heat of the battle. When you're playing and you forget you're on a colored realm, you're like, how is that Arceus... You know, is that Arceus a Ice Arceus? Like, what is that? But, yeah, obviously Arceus would have been white if it was normal. So I, I, I guess it just didn't dawn on me. I was being a derp at the time, so whatever. He is going to set the sword stance in my face and then go for the extreme speed, which I predicted. And I'm actually not going to take this nicely as a fortress because, well, I'm a specially defensive fortress. I am not... A physically defensive fortress. Well, I know, obviously, he's not going to take me out in what, another extreme speed. And I'm a bit surprised. He goes into his Hecarim, in all honesty, because he likes to use these things as setup fodder, as, um, basically, you know, I know from previous battles with him, he likes to use them as setup fodder. I've, and he, like, mentions it all the time. He's like, oh, let's use fortress and fair throw. Let's use fortress as setup fodder. So, on, in all honesty, I was a bit surprised that Mewtwo didn't show up. I'm going to go for the gyro ball. Being a smidgen surprised, I survived, so he's obviously choice scarfed and not choice banded, or else choice banded would have definitely KO'd me. So, not really anything I can do at that point. I'm going to switch into my Genesect and hope a plus one Ice Beam, even with, you know, only four investment in special attack, is going to be enough to KO a Zekrom. And guess what it is, and Genesect actually never had to explode in this match, which is interesting. And it's kind of a last resort on something that might attempt to sweep me, or something like that. So, pretty sure um, Ice Beam's not going to KO an Arceus from that range. So he is, unfortunately for him, going to get paralyzed, and I'm going to Ice Beam just to get off some extra damage, as well as I kind of wanted the U-turn to deal with the Mewtwo. Because, well, you know, at this point, I can just safely U-turn everything, and it'll pretty much be a guaranteed KO overall, as long as this Arceus cannot KO me in one hit with extreme speed. So I was really hoping with the, for the Parahax right here, and I get the special attack raise, so I'm like, oh, fantastic, let's hope this KOs. I'm really hoping for the Parahax, I don't get it. Will I survive? I do! Look at that! Genesect lives! So that's pretty much, as you can expect... GG at this point, because, you know, Mewtwo's gonna come in, take this U-turn, and pretty much die, because, you know, super effective stab, plus max attack, well, not really max attack, max attack, but max attack at a jolly nature. So, that is going to be the match, hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you guys later.